Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to show you how to import your avatar into VRChat. Uh, you'll be using uh, VRChat SDK 2 with avatars 2 and you also need uh, Blender in Unity. Um, so first you can download um, Unity Hub uh, and the correct version of Unity. Um, so somewhere on unity3d.com you should be able to download uh, um, the Unity Hub. Um, so you'll need to get started I guess. <laughs> and you will need to create a license so you just agree and download and whatever just click through everything create your uh, um, account and license and then you should be able to run uh, Unity Hub. So after you have all that just run the hub and okay I mistyped. Um, <laughs> oh, this is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> well run it and then you will need a correct version of Unity, which is 2018.4.20 F1. Uh, you can do so by going to installs and clicking on add. Um, there's you will have to visit uh, the download archive, uh, and there you just find it and click on the Unity Hub um, green button. So it's 2018. 4.220 it should be this one <laughs> uh, so click on the unity hub and it will guide you through the installation process when you're done you can create a new project uh, and you need to actually if you just click on the new it will create a new project in the uh, newest unity so don't do that click on this and choose the correct unity it's a 3d project and we will just name it vrchat3 because we already have one in uh, well two that are called vrchat something um, and then you can just well open it but before uh, we get to unity we have to do something with the model first uh, um, so the best thing you can do is uh, to import it into Blender, um, which has a great plugin, which is named Get Blender plugin. Um, so first, uh, download Blender. So that's at blender.org, and you just click on Download Blender 2.8 uh, or 2.82. Um, either of these three is good. Um, um, then you also need the Cat's Blender plugin, so you just look for that. Um, and you should be able to just download it. So download that, that file, um, and then open Blender uh, after you install it. Um, you'll see something. Oh, damn it. Just open a new one. Yeah, as I said, it's going to be embarrassing um you'll see this you just you don't need that so just delete that um uh in order to get the uh, kids blender plugin you'll have to install it so under edit and preferences so uh, there's add-ons and you click on install you look for the zip file that you downloaded um which i have in downloads and vr chat and you click on that and click on install. It will install, test, and then it will just be there. Um, in order to access it, you have to press uh, N in the layout window, and you'll see these kind of things, tabs. And one of the tabs is uh, gets the gets plugin. So now you can import a model into uh, into Blender. So my models are VRM so I will import a VRM model um,
you can of course uh, use the get Blender plugin import button. Uh, so it will take a while, and the imported model will probably look like a mess. Um, but for that, that's there's a button that says fix model. And then, well, ta da! -da. <laughs> Takes a while. Okay. Uh, yeah, now you can see that I have the fix model button here. So you just click on it and it will do all kind of stuff that will fix it for VRChat, more or less. Uh, so now you can see that it looks more or less the way it should. Uh, for some reason, there's incorrect mm, texture for the face. Uh, I will change that. Um, if you don't mind. Um, okay. Okay, so now I have as soon as I'm looking normal. Um, here uh, you'll do several things. Um, I don't know it... Uh, well, depending on the complexity of the model, uh, depending on the number of tries, you might want to decimate the model, which will uh, cut the number of, uh, of the triangles. Um, if you need to do that, it's the first thing you should do because it will get rid of uh, blade shapes. Um, or it can, I mean, if you do save, it probably won't affect any. Uh, but if you do half or full, uh, it will get rid of them. So, this is, well, if you don't know the number of the tries, it's mo most probably it's going to be fine. So you can just ignore it. Um, here in eye tracking, if you want your avatar to move your eyes, um, then and you have the bones for for it already, and uh, you know like the changes to the mesh, then you can set them. Um, well, it seems that they're already chosen, which is good. So if they are, then you just click click on create uh, eye tracking. Uh, it seems that something went wrong. <laughs> so maybe... Well, there are usually two sets of uh, of these. So one, one of... Uh, one of the sets should actually work. And then you can click on start testing and you can see that it actually works. Um, you can test the blinking and it works. So that's one thing. Then the second thing if you want your avatar to move uh, move its mouth um, when you speak, then you should create uh, this as well. So you pick uh, A, O, and U. Uh, it's already... Okay, uh, messed up. It was already there for some reason. Uh, if it's not there, it just... Um, choose them. It cannot be a... there should be a written bas basis. If there is, then you have to choose the proper ones. It should be A, O, and CH. The it's weird sound that... Mm, well, that I don't actually have a shape for, so 
I choose this one and then you click on create it will create 15 other ones that for VRChat um, you can see that they are here they are created so if you want uh, dynamic bones on your hair or a skirt or something else that you want to be moving uh, then you should parent your bones I don't actually use this for that uh, but I do it manually mm, you just um, in order to do that you have to click on the armature and in edit mode you you just um, select all the first uh, bones <laughs> of of I'm like these are childs of this thing so you choose the first thing and then last as the last uh, bone you choose the one that you actually wanted to parent it to um, what I do is that I actually duplicate the the head bone uh, so if you click uh, if you do shift D it will duplicate the bone and then you can you can parent uh, everything I mean what you do is just select those in the last one you can right click and you click on parent make and then you will uh, choose keep offset so the bones will actually stay where they are and uh, that's how you parent bones um, but oh well um, and also what you need to do is uh, reduce the number of uh, textures uh, because for VR chat you can have up to four um, you can have more but it will show you an error when you're trying to import the model um, so you generate a texture list it should select them all uh, automatically and then you click on create atlas and it will create it okay and choose where you want it so that's all you need to do in Blender, more or less. Um, if you want to be using full body tracking, then you might need to change the rig a bit. Um, because uh, the rig actually has to look uh, in a certain way for it to work properly. But I won't be doing that here because it takes ages. Uh, there are other tutorials online that you can see, especially uh, toppers ones. Um, so when you have all this, then you just export your model. Mm. And save it somewhere where you find it. When it's done, you can open Unity. Uh, I believe that the project is already uh, open uh, so uh, here you have to import uh, the VRChat SDK um, as I said it will be the SDK2 uh, you can download it at um, vrchat.com somewhere um, if you go to developer and documentation you should be able to find it somewhere but I already show that to you so you download that and you import it into Unity, so you go to Edit and there's uh, or well assets, <laughs> yeah, import uh, package, custom package. Mm. Choose that, choose the package and it should import. Hopefully, it will work. <laughs> Now, if you have the rights to. No, yeah. If you see VRChat SDK here, then it's correct. Uh, if you don't see it here, then you're probably using incorrect Unity or something went wrong. Uh, so you'll have to start over. Ok, 
Okay. Everything's taking time. <laughs> okay. Should be there. Okay, when, when it's done, then you click on the control panel to show the control panel and you sign in. Uh, you'll see if you can create, uh, if you can publish avatars or words. And you will need this to actually import the, the model. Uh, so you start by getting to FPX, you export it into Unity. Uh, you click on import new asset and find your asset somewhere where you export it. So my Asuna is here in downloads. Um, <laughs> Come on, Asuna. Okay, um, when you've got the model here, you'll need to do a few things. First, you need a humanoid trick so the IK can be actually applied. So you click the animation type humanoid and click apply. It may uh, just apply without a problem, or it can show you different kind of problems because you can have bones missing, there can be bones misplaced and whatnot. Um, if everything will be fine then it's good, if not then you'll have to fix it. It seems that it doesn't complain about the rig. Um, if, uh, if it won't go right then you have to configure and this is what you will see. Uh, here, here are all the bones that you have to actually assign. Um, you can you can try to auto map, and if that works, then if everything to the screen, then it's okay. If not, then you'll have to manually drag the bones here. Um, this is this bone doesn't exist, so shouldn't be there. Nothing should be there. Um, here you can see that there is actually uh, an error because uh, this is a hair bone that should not be there, so you choose none. Um, it's possible that uh, a different kind of bone will end up there, for example, well, any bone that is nearby, which is usually right high or left high, so you will also have to get rid of it. But that is something that should show as an error because you can have two bones in, well, you know, like two places uh, at once. So this is right, then you just click on apply and it should fix things. And then you should be able to proceed. Um, Okay, done. Then you go to materials and click on extract materials. Um, create a folder materials and select folder. As you can see the model here is not textured. Uh, so you'll have to to choose a shader in add the texture to it. Okay, now we've got material, so click on body. Um, just click on this little arrow, click on body, and here you can choose a shader that 
that you want to use, but it should be VRChat compatible. So uh, you can either use the ones that are in the SDK, which are the ones that are on the VRChat, or you can look uh, on the internet for ones that you actually like. Um, I use uh, shaders that are not in the SDK, so I will import them uh, by importing a package, not the asset. Just make sure that the shaders you choose are actually compatible with VRChat. Um, <laughs> okay, now I can choose my shader. So I'll choose the shader, and here I'll set uh, the base color to white because that's what I usually use. And I will choose the texture, but since texture is not in my assets folder, I'll have to move it there um, first. So it should be this one. Just wait for Unity to realize that a new file is there pick the texture and then your model should be texture. So you just drag your uh, avatar in the scene and set it to point of origin which is at 000. And if your model is not of your actual size um, or height, height uh, then you should uh, change the height of the model. Uh, what I do is that I just create a cube of uh, well, my height um, and as you can see the model is slightly bigger than uh, than me so you can resize it a bit mm. Okay. That's my cube. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so my Asuna is similarly tall. Then you can just delete the cube or hide it or whatever. Um, you can. Well, it looks fine. And what you need to do is add uh, avatar descriptor um, component to your avatar, and it will show you that there are some problems that, um, or not. Um, this is something that you can just auto fix. The automatic lightning is something that you can also auto fix. Um, um, the lower leg is not first child of upper leg uh, or foot, blah blah blah, uh, is something that you have to do yourself though. So in I usually do that in Blender, but I totally forgot about that. So um, what it means that this left knee uh, should be the first child of uh, left leg. So all you need to do is actually drag it there. Uh, in order to do that, you need to um unpack the prep app completely and then you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, so you do this 
do the same thing for the other leg and this should like just disappear um, right okay here you, ca you actually see that uh, my model has more polygons than than 32,000 so I should have maybe decimated a bit but the overall performance good is actually still more or less okay unless I add some dynamic bones to it I won't have problems with the avatar nor, nor the people around <laughs> running around um, so this is okay um, here you can uh, set the animation set uh, it's a female obviously and you auto detect all the visims or how it's <laughs> pronounced uh, the things that you actually created in Blender uh, and and then you have to set the white dot, gray dot, uh, somewhere where your headset is. Uh, so you find the place. Oi. Now this looks more or less right, if you can see it here. Um and that's uh, about it. Um since it is a new avatar that I didn't upload to VR chat that then there is no blueprint. But the blueprint is used for if you want to update the avatar then um you can just put the avatar's ID here it will rewrite the avatar that's already on the server uh, and if you don't want that to happen then you just get rid of the blueprint ID um, so for example you can see that I have these avatars there uh, so you just copy the ID of it put it here and it would override uh, so I, I, I don't have any Asuna there so this will be the first one um, if you want to add dynamic bones uh, to your avatar, you can do it before uh, uploading it. In order to get it working, uh, you also need to you need the dynamic bones uh, uh, package. <laughs> Uh, this is something you have to buy uh, on the store, uh, on the asset store. It costs 20 bucks. Um, or you can just find it on the internet somewhere, probably for free, who knows. Um, if you don't know how to get there, well, I don't. You can just press Ctrl 9 to actually get there and. And look for the dynamic boats script. Um, yeah, I'll just look for it. Mm. Okay. <laughs> it's this one. So. Well, what you do with it is that you add it as a component then you make bones and if you parented the bones uh, uh, for your hair for example you would just drag the in my case head uh, head bone to to the root and then you just play mess with these uh, values here and well it will be something for a different tutorial I suppose so I just get rid of this uh, and then in the builder if everything looks good uh, you can click on build and publish it will take a while again If 
you will be adding dynamic bones uh, transformations then it will uh, make the performance way worse um, depends on how many transforms and how many dynamic bones there are uh, you should limit the transforms to 8 and the number of bones to 32 but even with that uh, the avatar's performance this avatar's performance would be poor uh, based on these criteria um, you'd also have to set up some colliders uh, which would add more to the uh, which will be more demanding for the CPU so it's better to avoid it if possible if you're if you're visiting places that are really public and there are many people running around um, and then you can just name your avatar write whatever description if you want it to be private or public you take this and then you can click uh, upload if you want to change the image then in the scene um, what you can do is that you create uh, a cube um, and you put uh, the texture of the image on it and you just put the camera you know like just turn the camera at the <laughs> at the cube with the texture and that's how we will create um, the image you want um, that's the only way I think you have to actually do that but if you're okay with this then you don't need to play with that and then just click on upload and it will take a while <laughs> again and then you're done then you can go you know, just run VR chat and see if the avatar actually works or not.